the Indian Econograph. Welcome to the Indian Econograph, a new color-coded graphic model of the Indian economy starting with the private sector. It uses graphic shapes and colors to explain the major sectors and interactions of the economy from a unique graphic perspective. Explaining the Econograph The Econograph's new abstract graphics are the best way to present and explain the entire macroeconomy visually. Once learned, this graphic method is a memorable and efficient way to capture the complexities of the economy. The graphic household, in the center, works for the first firm, shown by the pink arrow, and receives income as a green wages arrow. The second firm supplies products shown by the blue arrow and receives payment as a green arrow in return. This indicates the household's dual function as part of the circular flow in the private sector. In this illustration, we focus on the retail private sector where a householder is shown shopping. The blue arrow for products and the green arrows for payment represent the retail transactions. This continuous gap circulating between households and firms is the retail market conduit where transactions take place and economic flows circulate. These graphics highlight the non-retail private sector and the other markets. A householder is shown working in the construction industry, which is part of the non-retail private sector. His work is illustrated by the grey arrow and the corresponding wages by the green arrow. The non-retail sector supplies goods and services to households and the retail sector, and also interacts with the external economy. The white border around the dark green area represents some of the non-retail markets and their transactions. Here we enlarge the non-retail private sector to show most of the types of industry and commerce that are contained within it. The services component sits in the middle of the shape as it is the common aspect of most commercial activities. Almost all firms provide services to other firms and some to households while many others receive services as part of their expenses. These graphics illustrate two-way trade between India and Australia. India exports manufactured goods to Australia and Australia exports coal briquettes to India. The coal briquettes are shown arriving at the Indian imports interface at the lower left-hand corner payments for these imports is shown as a mauve arrow leaving the imports interface. Now let's have a look at India's exports at the other end. The manufactured goods are shown leaving the exporter's warehouse to the ship and then leaving the export interface. The corresponding payments from Australia to India are shown as a green arrow. In this illustration, we show the two-tone public sector above the private sector detailing the fiscal format of the Indian economy. The taxation revenues are shown in grey on the top left-hand side entering the green treasury in the centre. Expenditures are shown leaving the treasury and travelling back to the private sector at the top right-hand interface. India's fiscal deficit target for 2024 to 2025 is 10.1 trillion rupees, which is 4.9% of the country's gross domestic product. Here, Econograph creates the graphic monetary economy in a static context at the end of the financial year. The graphics list the three different financial flows of the economy. 8. Capital inflow and outflow through the financial markets. B. A new money flowing to the treasury in exchange for new bonds. C. Bonds and money to and from both the banks and the financial markets. The graphics also display the assets and liabilities, both public and private on a graphic balance sheet basis. India's GDP in 2024 to 2025 is expected to be around 3.937 billion US dollars. This illustration introduces the Indian balance of payments, which includes the current account and capital account. It demonstrates how capital inflows, green arrows, and outflows, mauve arrows, are required to balance each other to maintain foreign exchange reserves and currency stability. Liquid public assets are shown in light green while bonds are displayed as a much larger component on the right-hand side private assets are shown similarly in light green while mortgages and liabilities are displayed in pink. Born in Sydney in 1942, Graham Edward Hull is a creative intellectual with entrepreneurial spirit that has driven his commercial career. After graduating in economics from Macquarie University, Graham joined the Western Australian government before owning and managing several companies from 1973 to 2007. After retirement and further studies in international economics and finance, Graham began to develop the graphics of what would become the Econograph that he has continually improved over the years. Now, Graham submits the Econograph video for consideration and invites expressions of interest from the academic and business communities to take this revolutionary tool to the next level.